Hey everyone, Reed here. Today I'd like to show you how to add dynamic URL links to either bookmark buttons or images within Power BI, allowing you to have a single image or button that can link to multiple URLs depending on your filter selection. So let's hop into Power BI and get started. So I have in front of me an example of an image and some bookmark buttons. The image here and these two links down here that are some bookmark buttons that I put some text into that all navigate to a hyperlink that you see over here on the right in this single card visual. Now you'll notice that with my selection over here on the right, I can select a option from the video title and that changes the URL. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and customized these buttons to link to that. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that. If you come over here to the action section for the image as an example, you will see that there is a web URL that is a type now you can type in a manual one. If I was to revert to default, I can just put in a static URL. However, if I click this ellipses in the upper right hand corner, I can go to conditional formatting. And then what I can do instead is set that to a DAX measure that returns a dynamic list of URLs. And that's what my URL link is. Now I'm not gonna go into too much detail about the DAX itself. That's easy enough to do with selected value or other measures. I just wanna show you the fact that you can actually add a DAX measure that returns different values depending on a filter selection into the web URL link for that image. And the same thing would be set as well for any of these ones down here. As you can see over there on the right, conditional formatting options just as well. Now, one thing I actually did is I went and found the Unicar character for that link icon right here. So if you want something a bit more compact, all you have to do for that button text I just ended up copying and pasting that right into here just as a text value and that's what's going to display there. So that will be part of the file that's available to download in my blog files section on my website if you are a subscriber to the blog. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. It's really nice now to be able to have images and buttons as well to be able to have those links instead of having to use a text box with a hyperlink in the text itself. So I hope you found this video useful. If you like this video, please click or smash that like button below. If you have anything to say about the video or have a suggestion for a future video, please add that to the comment section down below. And if this is the first time to my channel or you want to see more of these awesome videos, please click that subscribe and notification button. And otherwise, I will see you in my next video.